Mars Williams, and this is my ADA application video. Thanks for watching. So far to expose myself to programming, I've taken lots of strategies, both social and independent. I've attended lots of meetups, I've re reached out to experts in the field on LinkedIn, I've met up with people in town that are good at what they do and are surprisingly very friendly to share it with me. In addition to that, I read research journals, I watch YouTube videos, I look at OpenStack Source, I've done tons and tons of tutorials on Code School, and I've even corresponded with the guy who's in the tutorial video. <laughs> so I've just, I've really enjoyed the process so far because I'm interested in computer vision and the intersection between biological sciences and computer programming. In the next two years I'd like to work in a research and development, a robotics firm, a biotech firm, or be working in a market vertical that supports those type of companies by making um, user interfaces that allow people to take advantage of those kind of technologies to improve their lives. I think computers can really change the way that we live. We could use computer vision for brain emulation to understand the plasticity of youth. We could also use it to understand why older people are plagued by illnesses such as Alzheimer's and try and use data and modeling to combat those problems so that they can live their golden years out in style. So using computer vision we can determine the best route to take in rock climbing. You can use data sets from anatomy and physiology. You can use computer vision to scan the route, look for features, look for distance between features, and then putting all that information together with computer science and algorithms, you can determine what's the best route for me, what'll challenge me the most, and how can I approach a route that I've never even done before and know exactly what to be doing. next five years, I'd be really excited to do international competitions on Kaggle, which is a research site where people from all around the world post these problems that are just too big for one person to tackle. So a computer programmer in India might program with me and another computer programmer in Tokyo, Japan, and then together we can work on this really complex issue and combine all of our experience and skills to make it happen. While taking a year off from work will be difficult, um, undoubted, it's not something that'll be new to me. Actually, a few years back, when I became really interested in French literature and philosophy, I decided that it was really important for me to learn the French language so that I could read the text in their native tongue. So I actually took a year off from work and moved to Paris to study French. And I took my process very seriously. Every day I went to the library, I read in French, I spoke with other French people, I listened to French movies, I watched French television, I played French music, and after a year I was speaking French. And part of the reason why I went there was because I was really into this author named John Berger, who also lived in France, and I really wanted to go and meet him and talk to him in his language, but because I revered him so highly, I kept thinking that I need to do more and more and more to make myself worthy of his time. So I was reading everything I could to make myself interesting to him. You know, I, I tried to master the language so I sounded eloquent. And my time started to run out in France and I got more panicked that I was never going to meet this man. And then my roommate was like, hey Mars, how about you just give him a call? And it hadn't occurred to me to just approach it that way. So I actually did give him a call and his wife answered the phone and I told her the situation and she was super nice and was like, oh yeah, John and I would love to have you over for tea in our garden, like in the Rhone Alps, <laughs> which was really shocking and amazing. Um, but she's like, but John's in Paris right now because he's signing a book deal. So how about you come later in the summer? So unfortunately, because I had waited so long, I didn't get to go and meet him because my time had run out in France and I had to go home. So that's a big regret of mine and it was a huge mistake, but what it taught me was that we're worth it now. Like we should pursue our dreams now while we have the time and we have the passion to do so. So I think <laughs> if, if I got into ADA, because I care about computer programming and I care about computer vision and its impact on human society, I know that I would pursue it to the end this time because I'm worth it now and I know that I can do it. And I know that other people are worth having me put that investment in to help them later in the future. What distinguishes me from others is my ability to give back to my learning community. As a former teacher, I enjoy sharing what I've learned with others and sometimes even when I don't fully understand a concept, I teach it to others and it is through this exchange that I master it.